yeah, so quick team here. I am the UWP developer. Uh, and I've been working on this project for a while and so I know the ins and outs of it and I know how easy it can be to get the projects you've been working on in Fusion and instantly get them on over there to the Xbox. So you can see it's currently in the developer mode. Uh, that's fairly straightforward to set up. You just have to create an account and then the Xbox will ask you to just switch into a special developer mode and from that point on you're able to just build. Let me just move back over here. Um, you're able to build, just build from the Windows computer, which is currently over there. You can't see it, uh, but directly from Visual Studio, you can set it as a remote build target, which I'll show you in just a second. Uh, you click build, and then you'll be debugging straight away um, on the Xbox. Okay, so let's go ahead. Okay, so we're in Fusion 2.5. I've set up a very basic game example that consists of a player, a ball, and a computer. Uh, the player is controlled with a directional movement, the ball surprisingly enough is controlled with a bouncing ball movement and the computer is controlled by a basic path. If we come into the code area, the events editor, you can see that I've set up three basic events. One is saying does the ball collide with the player, does the ball collide with the computer or does the ball leave the player area and if so for each one of these, we make it bounce. Very simple. Um, I can run that now and we can see that it's working to some degree. Very basic game, but enough that we can demonstrate this running on the Xbox One. Getting a game onto the Xbox One from Fusion 2.5 is incredibly easy. Uh, all we have to do is choose a build type. Um, so we selected our app up here and we're going to choose a UWP project. So UWP allows us to build a game to run on Windows 10, um, on some smartphone devices, on Surface tablets, and as already mentioned, the Xbox One. Uh, so we're pretty, pretty much ready to go. Um, so I'm gonna click build. It's gonna ask us for a project name. Um, so what's actually gonna happen is Fusion is going to build a Visual Studio project which we can then open in Visual Studio and run it on the uh, the Xbox One. So let's choose a location to save this. Let's create a new folder, call it Simple Pong. Excellent, select that, there we go. And just like that, the project is built. Okay, so if I open up the, uh, the location that the project was built to, we can see that Fusion has gone and built a fully fledged Visual Studio project. Uh, we can actually open that up. There we go. Um, and we're ready to run, really. Uh, so first of all, I'll run this on the desktop. And as you can see, there's the same game we built um, to run as a standard executable. Um, so the next step is choosing how we're going to build this to run on the Xbox. And to do that, we will set our build target to a remote machine. So what this is going to do, this is going to attempt to build from Visual Studio and execute it onto a machine that is somewhere on our network. Uh, to choose the remote machine, we come to our project in the uh, Solution Explorer, we right click it, go to Properties, and we can see under the Debugging section, and make sure Remote Machine is selected, uh, we then see an empty field for machine name. So this is either the IP address or the local network name. As you can see, I've called my Xbox Blockhead. And this is where uh, uh, Visual Studio is going to attempt to run the project. Um, so we are literally ready to go. So if I were to click to build, you can see it's going to go through. And now we're going to have to switch over to the Xbox. So behind me, I have an Xbox set up. Uh, with my Xbox pad and it's currently building um, It's very quick once you do your initial build any build after that is sped up, but you'll see here in a minute uh, The screen should switch to a made with fusions. There we go That's the program now executing and as I can see over there on the Windows desktop. It's ready to run Now straight away. There's our game So it is as simple as you have seen within minutes you can be running on Xbox One, uh, on Windows 
10 devices such as the Surface or the mobile devices. Um, so again, it is as simple as that. So what are you going to create?